church, I just want to read to you one verse from James chapter 2, verse 26. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. So as we consider what God's word says to us, as you listen to that first sentence, if you've ever been in contact with a dead body, if you've been around someone that has departed this world, not only is it without breath, but there's something missing. It's absent. It's very obvious that the person is no longer there. So it's a shell with no life. And so the Word of God is teaching us something about what it means to truly have faith. For within faith there is life, and this life is made known by what it does. So there needs to be an activity or a movement or some type of action that bears witness to the life that is there. And so James is telling us that without good works, you know, your faith is dead. He's saying like there has to be evidence of life. So there must be evidence of your faith. So you can't just say, hey, I'm a Christian or I, I, I serve Jesus or I serve God or anything. He's saying like if, if your life is not showing that evidence by what you're doing, you're not... You don't really have faith. It's absent. It's dead. It's gone. And therefore, I want to challenge you and ask you today, through the Word of God and the message that we're receiving, what works are you doing for God's kingdom? We recognize that we're not saved by works. There's no question about that. God's Word says that. But this whole dialogue that is found in James is addressing the issue that there has to be evidence of that faith. So it's the works are a result of the faith. The works don't produce the faith. And that's critically important for us to understand as a church that no, we're not saved by what we do. We're saved by faith. But once we're saved by faith, the evidence of it is seen in what we do. Therefore, let's be an active working church for the glory of God and the evidence of the salvation that is a gift for us. Let's be his church.